My Pixel Skyblock needs a change. I have a proposal for a solution. I know the admins won't listen to me because I've tried, so I decided to make a video on it. Now let me give you some backstory real quick. I spent nearly every waking hour for 8 months straight playing the game. I loved it, made friends through it, and I would say I'd become a pretty good player. I planned on playing the game for as long as I could stand it, and I saw nothing stopping me from doing so. However, I made one misstep. The security on my account was weak. And my account was very valuable. It could sell for around $1,000, maybe more to the right person. And you can guess what happened. My account was hacked and my profile was deleted. All my work and time I spent in this game was gone. I was devastated and brought to the verge of tears. I reached out to anyone I could to figure out a solution. First Piggle to verify that I was, wasn't wiped and that was in fact a hack. And then my friend M Silent, who got me in the DMs with Doctor, who also told me that he couldn't help me. And I was desperate and asked everyone for help. Support admins, old guildmates, anyone. But nothing could be done. They stated in the rules that any problems with your account after it was hacked was your responsibility. Now here's the problem. Why, after your account is compromised, won't they help you? I was I genuinely asked this question myself many times. I brought up some theories. My original assumption was that they didn't keep profiles backed up after deletion, so they couldn't verify what you had, and therefore can't return any progress without making a blind guess or just relying on your word. This theory is pretty much thrown out the window, though, when you realize that Akinsoft's got his profile completely restored even the actual island. And I voiced this concern to a few people, and some told me maybe the admin specifically backed up his profile after realizing what he was doing, or maybe YouTube profiles are just stored differently. Whatever the reason is, it really doesn't matter. All I want is a new solution for everyone else. Another assumption on why they couldn't bring back profiles was that the admins are scared that you could abuse the system, which I totally understand. People could IRL trade their coins away then, so you don't get your profile wiped. You tell the admins you were hacked. Then they give you a progress pack and there you go, you made the money from selling your coins and you kept your account. The last reason I could think of is that they don't have the personnel to deal with such a task. And currently I think this is the most reasonable deterrent from them having a system to bring back profiles is they simply don't have the manpower or want to hire the manpower to handle it. Which I... I think is the most logical explanation to it. So now that you've heard the problem, I'll reveal my solution. I'm not guaranteeing it's perfect because I don't know the exact reason staff doesn't have it already, but it can be tweaked and worked on if it were to be implemented. My suggestion is to keep backups of everyone's account on a text file after deletion of any reason whether it be co-op kicking, account deletion, or cheating. It will include the bare minimum data, just numbers representing your skills, slayer, and catacombs. And the reason I don't want to involve coins in this is because I feel like that would make it easy to be abused if you could have your coins brought back to you. So to not encourage IRL traders, I don't think that coins and items should be kept in it. And the other reason you only want skills, slayer, and catacombs is because I feel like those are the main things that people grind for and anything else would just be excess data that the server doesn't need to hold. So if someone's account were to get hacked, they must just fill out a form including what happened to their account and what they've done to ensure it won't happen again. If they have secured their account, they should get their profile back. However, if it happens to someone two times for any reason, I agree it should be the player who should be to blame and they shouldn't get their account back. I think the process should be simple and fast to complete so that whoever, you know, mod, admin, who goes through them can zoom through the appeals. I, th I think moderators should be the ones to do it mainly because it shouldn't require too many permissions to see if they were already unwiped and to approve them if they weren't. I think that people who are wiped for cheating should also have the option as well for one reason. 
A loophole can be used by hackers and trolls to make sure the account is unrecoverable by cheating on the profile or publicly chatting about cheating on it so the hacked account is banned and unrecoverable. There isn't really a solution to this, but I believe they should still have the option to apply for the account recovery. But in order to still discourage cheating, they should be banned from Skyblock for at least two months. That way the hackers won't be able to abuse this loophole, but if the player is cheating, they will still receive punishment. If you guys have a better solution to this, leave it in the comments because this is one part that I was kind of stuck on. Now in order for the system to come into play, a few things need to happen. Staff needs to actually start caring because currently they don't think about them. I hate to say it because I love the server and the admins have been doing really good with updates and game design as of late, but they don't care about the, about the players. The staff needs to start working with players and take criticism so that they can make the game better because Skyblock is the biggest game mode on Hypixel and in all of Minecraft right now. And it's the highest grossing by far. I think that them working with the players in every aspect of the game would benefit them greatly. Not only in account security, but every part of the game, they need to start taking more from the players. So staff, if you're, if you're somehow watching this video, please try to work on these issues. Thanks for watching.